Okay, thank you. We begin with the latest on the Central Coventry Fire District shutdown. Last night, the Coventry Town Council approved a $300,000 loan that would keep the district open and operating for at least another month. But the judge who ordered the district to close by tomorrow still needs to give his okay. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson has those latest developments now with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Andrew? That's right. We are here at the Kent County Courthouse where a judge is set to make that decision coming up later on in the day. At least for now, the mood in Central Coventry is a little more optimistic than it once was that there may be a possibility of saving the fire district. Eyewitness News was at the town council meeting for that vote on Tuesday when it was handed down. The results, 4-1 to one in favor of granting a $300,000 loan to the Central Coventry Fire District. That loan will help the district stay afloat for at least a few more weeks weeks. Taxpayers rejected a new budget proposal that would have saved the district in February potentially. The bankrupt fire department was set to cease operations on Thursday after a judge ordered it to be liquidated. Thanks to that loan though that is now up in the air. Following Tuesday's meeting town council members had differing opinions on the decision. The other three districts allow someone to come up with a plan that will provide emergency services for the Central Coventry Fire District. We need to let the taxpayers make the decision and not us. We work for the taxpayers. My taxpayers in District 1 did not want this tonight. And Governor Lincoln Chafee also made a surprise appearance at this meeting. We'll give you his take coming up in our next half hour. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.